Good yeah, greetings, people. It's your boy, the righteous messenger, the rhythm rider, the plumbing engineer. I am going to reseal this shower here. But first of all, I need to take off the sealant, which is already here. Um, I've got this tool here. Um, you can call this um, a sealant profiler. And then it's on the other end, it's got a stripper as well. So this is like a two in one you know, mastic or sealant tool. Um, this end, see how sharp it is? It's pointed. You can use that to take off the old mastic or sealant, which I'm trying to do here, as you can see. Try and take it off. Take off the old one. It's not easy, but if you put a bit of pressure on it. doing this because um, I've seen some bit of leak in the ceiling be beneath this shower and um, I can't really see any gap so I'm thinking that maybe the sealant um, the shower needs to be resealed first of all have to take off whatever is here. See one guy so be here. I don't know. The tiles is grinding the pointed edge. Um still gonna try and use it. So first of all, I have to remove the ocean, which I'm doing. Yeah, so people, I started off with this mastic or ceiling tool here, but um, I can see that there are tiles it's grinding this tool away it's plastic so i'm bringing some knives safety knife some sort of scraper it's got a blade on it and i got this small knife as well to try and take it off i'm gonna use a scraper to get it from the top And then I use 
this one too. Yeah. But in here, you know, it's easier when you cut it, you don't mind. Okay. So you just need to scrape it off. I'll finish this one, I have to buy another one. But by the time I finish doing this, there's not gonna be left because. The tar is strong and it's sweeping it off. Let me use this to see. Yeah. When you're doing this, you have to make sure you take each and every single out. Take a foot out. Over and let a new one will not hold properly. Building work is like this. Plumbing work is like this. You have to try different things and see which one works for you. Then the knife is cutting it better. If you look. I've removed most of it. I've removed most of the sealer. There's still bits, pieces, still sticking on the tile and the shower tray. Now I have to remove. Basically, with this one, just work from one end to the other. Take your time. Make sure you take everything out. Well, people, after removing. The old sealant. The next thing is make sure you you hover, you hover out the old sealant and any debris that can get caught in the new sealant. Make sure you hover well. Lots of lots and lots of hovering. So people, you can see I've removed the old sealant of hoovered and you can use the silicone or the sealant gun and um, this one here, yeah. you can use this to apply in the crevices, the, 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 the spaces, the gap and all around the edge of this shower here. To prevent water from going through and getting to the ceiling. But I bought this small one. It says Unibond Renew your sealant like new. Special silicone. It says the auto smooth on top of existing sealant mold resistant. So I could have used this without even taking off the sealant, but the proper way to do is to take the old one off. I'll start with this. When I run out, I'll use the gun. So let's begin. So it's already finished. <clears throat> the corners 
I want to put a lot in the corner so that no water can escape through there. Oh, it's already finished this thing. So people, if you look at apply the sealant in terms of artistic, it's not the best looking, but I hope it does the job. I hope it stops the leak going to the ceiling. Yeah. I just wait for it to dry. See what happens if we sit to keep on making. I have to think of something else. 